Hello, boys and girls. My name is Otzi, and welcome back to another episode of Oxygen Not Included. And right after uh, the last episode, uh, the Iron Volcano finally decided to go dormant. So now, ha, in today's episode, we will figure out how long we have to wait to get some iron out of it so let's dig it out first and then we can see what's in here lime yes please our food is steadily uh, rising so uh, looks like uh, uh, the uh, approach we did last time was the second uh, bristle blossom farm did work out um, what we also might do as the stress is rising again uh, we can increase the downtime from two to four and that should uh, give them more opportunity to uh, uh, visit our entertainment room which should greatly help with uh, stress reliefs. relief all right we are getting there and there it is so um, Let's analyze it and see what we are dealing with. The analyzing part may might take a while. But we will get that done eventually. We want to clean up in here. So we are looking good, uh, the thing that we waited for so long has finally happened. Uh, now it's time to think about uh, future projects. So for example we could have let's let's check temperatures uh, down here we are between uh, 70 over here and 30 in the middle but mostly around in in the 40s so down here i think we have a chlorine vent uh, how do we look temperature-wise in this area here? It's pretty, pretty similar. So let's let's do this. Let's put a, a wall in there then take that down to here and then split that whole thing in two and grab everything that's in there 
and we probably need to build some ladders here on the uh, inside And then we shall have a tile here, a tile here. Um, when we get to down here, um, we will probably. Yes, you did it again. Uh, so let's. Do proper uh, priorities here so uh, nails can get out. Down here, we want to have a door. Then, um, here we will have a storage bin. Then in here we have drop-offs. Right. And you will see in a bit what this will become. An analysis is done here. And we have to wait for 43 cycles to get any uh, iron out of this. So uh, let's just grab this dirt here as well and then we can close off this area and wait for the uh, next 40 odd years to, uh, to pass We are making some progress here. The door down below is done, so we actually can uh, put in the wall here. Alright, and we shall have another door. Here, complete the vault there, so we have uh, two dedicated rooms. And let's see. This is 90 tiles. Um, so for stable, what's the max size? 96. So you guess it. These are stables.
this one over here might be too big. that and okay you will have to dig that out and nails are stuck Now it's completely covered! Nisbet, what are you doing? Yeah, that's better. making some progress here so in here we'll store some eggs um, eggs that is offlet eggs and in here we will have prince pufflet eggs And I will explain to you what this is all about shortly. Okay, we have cleaned this out, so let's close up here. It's two more wall pieces, and then we should be good. There is also something in the printing press. But it's salt water, so that's not really anything good. Uh, while we're here, let's check on uh, oxygen. Looks good. Uh, let's check on temperature. In here it's uh, mellowing out a bit. We're getting green instead of blue. Here where we have more hydrogen, it's temperatures tend to uh, uh, stay low uh, longer. I thought we did have uh, Velocity directlet X somewhere. Yeah, it's, it's behind here. So eventually that one will hatch. And it looks like uh, uh, increasing the downtime has helped with the stress. So that's another good thing. Then where are we? Yep. Um, maybe mop up uh, the floor here. As we are not cooling anything in here, we can lock the door uh, and that should prevent uh, them feeding the wheeze warts uh, any more phosphorite so we can save a bit on that. Um, 
also completed the uh, expansion of our uh, tanks so we have now double the amount we had before which should help with storing the uh, natural gas and in here as I said we will have Prince Puzzle Dex. Also mop up uh, the rest. And in here we will have warps. And in case it is not obvious to you, the morbs, if we can get around to it, uh, they produce polluted oxygen. And the puffs, they consume polluted oxygen. Uh, and they produce slime and we need the slime for our mushrooms and then in the room on the side uh, we want to have uh, puffed princes and they consume um, uh, chlorine and they produce bleach stone and the third variant is uh, the uh, oxygen uh, oxalate one uh, at the, the squeaky pufflet or puffed. Not really interested in those. But in here we can always uh, uh, put in. Uh, chlorine from probably this one here I guess that's the uh, carbon dioxide one so now let's catch ourselves some morphs so we can get the, the right atmosphere. So over here there was one. There is a way There is one. Oh. There is a way uh, you can uh, uh, basically produce morphs, and that's by putting down an outhouse or two By the looks of it, uh, this heating does at least help uh, a bit uh, with the growth here. Uh, maybe not enough to consume all the water that we have. 
down here. Okay, they are built. And now we will lower uh, the, the priority, disable the disinfect, and that way they should get really dirty when uh, they are used. And if they are dirty, they will produce morphs. So we can then use the morphs or the, the, the creature trap to catch ourselves a morph and put it down here like we said so to fill this uh, space up with warp so that they produce enough uh, polluted uh, oxygen to uh, sustain a few puffs that will require quite a few so this is a slow long running game but at least we have started now and with that we are done with this episode i hope you enjoyed it and join me next time for more oxygen not included Goodbye.